Hello, everybody. Welcome to SHM's Thought for Shabbat on October 14th. It also happens to be Sukkot, and I hope you're enjoying your time uh, dwelling in your Sukkot at home or even perhaps here at Temple and staying dry all at the same time. It's great that we have rain, but always on Sukkot, of course. I'd like to tell you just a, a very short story about a young person who was going to go to a party. And they were going to go to a party at this very expensive, beautiful, big, gorgeous home. And was very nervous and anxious because he didn't feel like he had anything good to wear in his closet. He yells out to his parents, I don't have anything nice to wear. This isn't going to be appropriate to go to a really big, beautiful house. The most beautiful, arguably, in the whole city. His parents say, I'm sorry, it's not in our budget right now to uh, to buy new clothes. But go in normal clothing. You're going to have an absolutely wonderful time. So reluctantly, he gets on his bike and rides over to the most beautiful, exclusive house in the whole city. Knocks on the door. And they open the door and they say, hello, welcome to our home. We're so excited to have you here. They didn't worry at all about the clothing. They said, come on in. Let's go to the backyard. And so they walk to the backyard and looks over in the backyard and sees this unusual hut. It's made of wood and has palm leaves on the top, curtains on the side for the walls, and people were hanging out in there. Now, he was expecting something grandiose and beautiful at the most exclusive house in the whole city. And he says to the owners of the house, well, who lives out there? And they said, well, we hang out out there at Sukkot. And he's like, well, isn't that, we're supposed to hang out in that? Look at your big, beautiful home. He says, well, that is a place where we all belong. We all get to eat the same food and hang out together as one people. We all have our different homes, but to be together as one in our sukkah, sukkah is exactly the place we need to be. That is what Sukkot is all about. And so the young man walks into the sukkah, looks around. Nobody's dressed nicely. They're in normal clothing. And we see them shaking their lulab and their etrog and eating delicious food and talking to one another. It was absolutely perfect. All the anxiety wasn't necessary. The fact is, my friends, Sukkot is all about coming together. It doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter what you do. It just matters that you're there, enjoying each other's company, shaking the lulav. We all shake exactly the same way. We say the same blessing to dwell in the sukkah together and to shake the lulav together. That's what Sukkot is all about. We say it's Zman Simchatenu, the time of our rejoice and celebration. And at SHM this weekend, we have lots of wonderful opportunities to celebrate. Tonight, we'll hold our Shabbat services in the sukkah, beginning at 6.15, followed by a scrumptious dinner. And then Saturday night, there's still time to sign up for sipping in the sukkah. As long as you're over 21, you are more than welcome. There'll be heavy appetizers, delicious food, I tell you. Drinks, free babysitting for those who need it, live music, and great company. That's what it's all about, my friends. Coming together as a community. Doesn't really matter who you are, where you come from, what you do. Just the fact that you're there. Chag Sukkot Sameach. I wish you a time of joy and a Shabbat Shalom. We'll see you tonight. Take care.